what's up guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello my name is Antonano and if you're coming back thank you for tuning back uh wow <laughs> it's been a minute since i've actually sat down and do like a sit down video with you guys but i'm back today um to do sort of a life update kind of video so if you're here and you like this content do not forget to hit the subscribe button and like my videos if you do um yeah let's get so the first thing that i just want to talk about um is sort of I'm, a, I'm at a point in my life where i just want to experience things you know so i've moved i've sort of shifted from a mindset of material things to sort of a i want to do things more so like experiences and that's why i've decided to start um traveling you know so i just feel like experiences are more important you know you're most likely to remember memories and to enjoy yourselves more if you sort of go out and have experiences than you would if you were like into material things you know like brands like clothing and stuff like that i'm not saying i'm not into <laughs> brands don't get me wrong i do like my clothing but i feel like i'm shifting towards a more experienced type of life than you know like buying things and driving fancy cars and stuff like that so yeah like that's the first thing i am definitely focusing more on experiences in my life than material things so that was point number one point number two is that i have decided to start reading like self-help books so anything educative anything um uh, financial books uh entrepreneurship that type of thing uh, anything that uplifts me as a person anything that uplifts my personality and everything that sort of helps me grow as a person um in all all spheres so like emotionally spiritually financially type of thing i've decided to start doing that um it's fairly new i don't know how that's gonna go but i'm hoping i can be able to read as often as i'd like you know sometimes life gets in the way and you're just like i'm so tired but i'm i'm, I'm fully committed like i want to commit to reading and uh, reading self-help books you know so to start off i recently bought um this book i don't know if you guys uh, have read it before how to win friends and influence people by dale um so i bought this book from take a lot it was how much is it it was less than 220 i think it was 216 somewhere there uh it's really not expensive um so yeah that's what i've decided to start reading um you might actually wonder why i'm reading how to win friends <laughs> and influence people the thing is making friends to me doesn't come naturally so to some people you would meet a new person and you hit up a conversation just like that and then boom you know you've sort of forged some sort of relationship for me it doesn't happen that easily i am a sort of a reserved person if you know me personally you would know i'm sort of a reserved person conversations doesn't freely flow with me you know so i've decided to start there and i've decided to get a self-help book that will sort of guide me in this type of things and i think it's also important um being a professional that i am in order to build relationships and in order to you know talk to other people and sort of have a feel of how people you know converse in these types of environments i think it's it's a great way um to start so i've decided to get this book and yeah i don't know i don't know how it is if you've read this book maybe just leave a comment for me down below and tell me like how did you find it it was recommended to me by a friend from work who was like oh yeah i'm reading this book it's actually good i think you should read it so i've decided oh, i'm gonna try it yeah so if you've read it before maybe you also want to get into self-help books and start reading uh let me know 
uh if you read it let me know how you found it was it helpful you know so yeah that's one of the things i've started um doing to improve myself and so the third thing and the most controversial thing is that i want to start focusing more on my physical health so let me tell you a story of Miguel when Miguel was still studying. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to join gym, right? I'm going to focus on my health. I'm going to jog. I'm going to join gym. So I went to TSG and yeah, I did the whole application thing and then boom, I have a gym membership. So the thing about gym is, oh, guys, I don't know if it's just me who has a problem with commitment to gym. But I can never commit. Like, I can never wake up and be like, I'm going to gym, even though I paid for it. It's just, it's just something that I can never do, right? So the thing is, I paid for that membership for like uh, six months. It was on a monthly payment. So it was more like a 12-month contract that Vision Active has, you know. I think Vision Active has like 24 months type of thing. So if you cancel within the first few months, you have like a penalty that you have to pay. And that's one of the reasons why I'm not joining gym because I know I'm not going to go and then now I can't cancel it. And that's just a bad financial decision. So at TSG, I went for like two, three weeks, nyana, you know, it was still fun. But then uh, I don't know, gym just gets to a point where it's boring like i don't want to go there and like just run on the treadmill and then lift weights it's just it's it's not motivating you know it's boring so i don't know how i'm gonna do this but i think the first step for me would be to sort of like do home exercises maybe like a walk you know we're starting small so like maybe take a walk and maybe like jog on maybe like two days a week type of thing i really want to focus on my physical health guys it's bad okay like it's really bad so yeah man gym is just not motivating for me it just gets to a point where it's boring but i'll definitely do like fitness classes you know like boot camps type of situation when you have like a crowd of people and we're all doing the same exercises and there's like music booming on the background type of situation i would definitely do that so yeah if you know anything like that going on around joburg um anywhere really around joburg of course um yeah I'd, something i'd definitely be interested in doing but in the meantime i think i've committed to sort of doing home exercises and walks and jogs and yeah let's see let's see how that works out so that was that and then uh next up would be spiritually yeah guys spiritually hey like you know when they talk about a a backslided christian like some way they, that's me like it's so bad it's so bad and i know my mom watches my videos and she's gonna be like oh but yeah it, it's bad guys but you know what um i do go to church obviously i do go to church but i feel like my relationship with the creator is not as it used to be before like um definitely when i was still staying at home you know you go to church there's youth service there's like conferences that happens and like seminars and because that's what you're exposed to it's what your life sort of shapes out to be but like when you move out of home and then some stuff get in the way and you know, it's just different. Like when you're moving to a different church, you just become a whole different Christian altogether. You shouldn't be, don't get me wrong, you shouldn't be, but unfortunately that's what happens. So the struggle with me, I think, is to find like the right church to fellowship at. And I feel like I am sort of still in the search. I do have a church that I go to, but I still feel like I'm still searching. My spirit is sort of still wandering and still searching for like a church that will fit me, my personality, my spiritual life kind of thing. So yeah, spiritually, that's where I'm at. I feel like my relationship with God is not the same as it used to be. And 
that is definitely for reasons i know personal reasons i definitely know and out in the open but yeah i think i've gotten to a point where i've decided and committed to sort of rectifying that and working towards a better relationship ultimately yeah and then the last one uh before we make this video so long is probably the fact that where is Ndwani headed right so basically where am i headed as a channel you know and where am i headed personally as an individual i think um one thing that i've come to realize and notice is that change is inevitable you we live in an environment where we constantly have to adapt to change and so that is why my channel is sort of going to grow in that kind of environment there's going to be a lot of changes that you guys are going to be seeing in the next couple of months um i have decided you know that education is great and i really want to do this and it's still in the niche but at the same time i want to do more entertainment because people learn more where they are entertained than in a traditional learning environment kind of thing so definitely i'm going to be doing like lifestyle videos of obviously my my life um nothing fancy i really don't lead a fancy lifestyle if you know me you know this i'm a very cool collected person but i think it's time you guys got like an insight into the kind of person that i am and to achieve that is just me trying to show you how i lead my life and how i live basically so that's channel wise um personal wise i feel like i've gotten to a point where i want to start broadening my horizons and by this i mean in my career and in business altogether so um yeah i think i've started wanting to get into the business side of things you know learn how things work in business learn how things work in entrepreneurship i'm not saying i'm i'm about to start a business no don't that thing is not pop and flace okay it's not guys it's it's cutthroat you know it's cutthroat people struggle in entrepreneurship and people make it and some don't it's just the nature of the business i'm not saying now i want to leave my nine to five and start no that's what i'm saying all i'm saying is i want to know you know i want to research i want to know i want to start attending seminars that talk about these things and yeah man you know get informed you never know an opportunity could arise and miguel could be the next best thing you just never know <laughs> and so for that reason um I will be attending an entrepreneurship seminar in Durban in September. So, um, yeah, I'll sort of leave a screenshot of the seminar somewhere on the screen. And it's open to anyone and everyone who wants to attend. It's mainly for young people who are who have like great business ideas. Even if you don't have an, a great business idea, it's just there to sort of inform you and sort of inspire you and encourage you. So, I left the link in the description box to the RSVP. If you do want to RSVP and go and attend, I think it's it's good. I think it's it's one of the best decisions you can take as a young person who wants to know more. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and comment in the comment section. If you like this video, if you like sort of where this channel is going let me know other than that i will see you in my next video bye